What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about AMC stock and why I believe we're hitting $13 this week. But before I do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do talk about AMC stock every single day. So these past couple days, Thursday and Friday, it just looks so bullish. It looked like the same exact thing actually happened except on Friday it was more larger than Thursday. So Thursday we shot up to around like 1060 and we closed around that 1050 range and we were green the whole day. Friday on the other hand we shot up to $11.30 almost a whole dollar and then towards the end of the day we did go back down all the way to around 1050 and we closed after hours at $10.82. My prediction for tomorrow on Monday I think we go back to $11. I think it just looked too easy for us to go to 1130 and I believe we break 13 before earnings on wednesday that's right q3 earnings is only a couple of days away and shit is about to get real shit is about to get real i believe we are going to go up by a lot or down by a lot it's one or the other but my prediction is up i wouldn't mind amc crashing on wednesday normally stocks do crash on wednesday like sinmark reported good earnings and it fell five percent that day and amc went up five percent but if amc does crash on wednesday guess what payday's on thursday so it's just more shares for me at the end of the day. I'm going to load up no matter what. Even if AMC goes up, I'm buying more because we're still extremely, extremely low. And I will buy at any freaking price at this level. It's just we're too low. Even though we're up 50% from our all-time low, we're still down over 75% in the past three months. So in my opinion, AMC is still low. So look at this. That's right. Theatrical releases are the go. Zack Zinder's Rebel Moon is seemingly getting a theatrical release ahead of its Netflix debut. I mean, this is just more profit for AMC. We got this movie, Killers of the Flower Moon, freaking hitting a hundred million dollars at the global office. I haven't even heard of this movie. I mean, we already got Five Nights at Freddy's, about to break 200 million. Taylor Swift, probably gonna break 300 million. I mean, it's nonstop. Beyonce coming out in less than a month now. It's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. Going into 2024, there's just gonna be more releases, more booze, and more money. The third quarter of 2023 is likely to be AMC's strongest quarter since the pandemic in terms of revenue. Driven by the recovery of the movie theater industry, thanks to hits such as Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Sound of Freedom. And these are just three random movies. Q4 is going to be actually record-breaking. So Q3 is just going to be a little taste of what what's coming in Q4. Is investor place all right? I can smell desperation. These cocksuckers are getting desperate, and it's obvious. Three stocks headed towards zero as meme mania fades to black headed towards zero. Don't bet on Beyonce, sell AMC stock now. Don't double down on AMC stock ahead of Taylor Swift's film. Seven Doom stocks with nowhere to go but down. These cocksuckers. Look at that bastard just laughing at investor place. If you need any proof the market is corrupt, here's all you need to know in one screenshot. Also lets me know I'm holding the right one. Sinmark's stock is up over 87.6% in 2023. It's actually up way over 100%. While AMC is down 69.6%. Actually went down about 80% in a couple of days. And IMAX is up 26.4%. Shares of National Sin Media are up 92.3% this year. Outpacing the S&P 500's gain of 13.6%. I think this is the perfect time to load up on AMC. Not financial advice whatsoever. You do what you want with your money. Do your own research. I'm just here to let y'all know I'm all in on AMC. I have my life savings in AMC. That's how much I believe in this squeeze. That's how much I believe that AMC is undervalued. But I guess we'll just have to find out tomorrow exactly what happens. I think we break 1130 with ease. That's just my prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to go down and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do talk about AMC stock every single day. And I'll catch you guys in my next video as y'all know i'm buying the dip here we go come on